So, God created mankind in His own image. In the image of God, He created them. Male and female, He created them. This is God's pronouncement found in Genesis 1.27. And on this note, let me greet all our loyal streamers and valued subscribers. One big happy life to all. You might be asking why I am wearing a wig. Well, this is a statement of importance that will be in line with our topic of focus this uh, moment. This opportune time, your content provider, Prospero Gonzaga Jr., known to my students as Sernoy, will be tackling one of the greatest unsolved conflicts in man's history. This is the facts and myths of homosexuality. Jervin Eagle Viewpoints vlog will attempt to straighten the gender commotion of the ages. To start with, it is always a biblical fact that God only created two genders, the male and the female. However, when sin meddled with the world, this normality was challenged as sin even got through the normal physiology and genetics of man. Because of the reality of sin, there came out four classifications of homosexuality, at least. Let us study them one by one and apply the logic to separate the right from the wrong. First, fellow vloggers, the logic should be distortion of gender if it happened by choice is certainly wrong. That is because we have a choice to make things right but still choose to do what is wrong. On the contrary, there are instances that because of an abnormal structure, people, when created with a gonadal or genetic abnormality, cannot do anything. This is, of course, a product of sin. When God's creation was distorted, this all happened. But don't get me wrong, God did not create these distortions. So take note of this logic and we will go back to this after discussing the four kinds of homosexuality. The first kind of homosexuality is somatic homosexuality. Again, somatic homosexuality. Soma from the word body meaning these genders grow up with structures that are more comfortable for the opposite gender. However, dear vloggers, this is superficial enough to be a reason for changing or compromising genders. A good example of this is a gentleman who have no hairs in the legs, a woman who have beard and mustache, a gentleman with enlarged breasts called gynecomastia, and ladies who have very big, developed, and strong muscles. If you noticed, these are all physical traits, but it never affected the center of thinking, which is the brain, also the area of mental concept. The 
second kind of homosexuality is psychosomatic homosexuality. This is from the word psycho, meaning mind, and soma, meaning body. Thus, it means mind over body. This homosexuality is just happening because the mind thinks it is true. But it is never true. It is just a mental thinking that is being carried by the mind, yet if the mind will think otherwise, it can still decide and make a more logical decision. A good example of this is a male who grow up with ladies. The male still have a choice, but if he will try to think that he is one of the ladies already, then it was a decision he made and not a product of things that are not reversible. Logically, dear vloggers, you still made the decision to choose what is not correct in this kind of homosexuality. The third kind of homosexuality is gonadal homosexuality. Again, gonadal homosexuality from the word gonads. This is an abnormality wherein an opposite gender produces hormones of the opposite. Thus, even looking like a gender he or she is manifesting, the gonads and the hormones twist the reaction of the body. In some instances, we have also a case called hermaphrodite, a person having two genitalias of the opposite. In some cases, the reproductive organs resemble the opposite gender, thus hormonal reactions cannot be masked or mimicked. It is true that they will at some times feel and act like the other gender. Dear vlogmates, that person was created with a psychological alteration because of sin. He or she has no choice and that means the homosexuality in this point is not a choice but a manifestation of the system that the person possesses since birth. This is gonadal homosexuality. The fourth homosexuality is the most complicated one. This happens when the sex hormones will have alteration instead of having two. It becomes three. Just like the chromosome XY for male, if it will have an abnormal third chromosome, it will become XYX, meaning the person is a male but the extra X is a genetic made up for females and can later manifest a female mindset, female feelings, female reactions, and female actuations. This is also happening in ladies who are XX by chromosomal makeup and may have a third chromosome letter Y which will make it XXY, thus a male characteristic in the gene hidden in a female's physiological body. Now, after dissecting the four kinds of homosexuality, it is very evident that the first two, the somatic homosexuality and the psychosomatic homosexuality, are just choices that people make. It is not an irreversible alteration in the human system. They choose to be on the opposite gender when they have the choice to be on the right gender without abnormalities and deficiencies to really cure or address, which is irreversible. That means, homosexuality in these areas are morally questionable because of the choice to disobey or distort the normality of God's created individuals or God crea God's created original. The third and the fourth homosexuality, if you notice, are not in the control of man. It is just like a factory defect product that can exist and be irreversible. Thus, if it is a thing, 
it is thrown or returned for dismantling, but these are human beings who are created with another gender caught within them. They cannot be dismantled or thrown. For the case of the gonadal, the reproductive system is one that you are born with and you grow up and live with that. For the genetic cases, DNA and chromosomal makeups determine our attitude, our traits, and characteristics. Thus, when another gender is caught inside, it is a case that the person has to live with because the, mo the moment a person is born, there is no return or exchange anymore. You cannot put them back to the reproductive system of the mother and wish that the one that will come up is a person who have no alteration in genes or alteration in gonads. Let us then go back to the logic that we have identified earlier. With somatic and psychosomatic homosexuality, automatically there was an intention to commit a wrong choice or an intention to do wrong itself. To the gonadal and the genetic homosexuals, they should be educated with what happened to them and they cannot be stopped to act the way they want to act but they can control and even avoid doing immorality due to the fact that they already know what is wrong with their condition. Lastly, dear vlogmates, my appeal is to the clergy, the persons in divinity, the pastors, the religious personalities, let us be cautious and mindful of logic. Every time we declare in our sermons that homosexual cannot enter heaven, let us be logical, dear vloggers. Why? Because we are not God to decide for that. That is the principal reason, of course. And the second is, we may not know what is the origin of their homosexuality. Was it their choice? Then they are wrong. If it is not their choice but they cannot do anything, then we have to help them do something because I know God understands that it was a product of sin that they were altered irreversibly. Instead of being judgmental, dear vlogmates, let us talk to them and know their story. If they did it by choice, let us help them back to the right track. If they have no choice at all due to the systemic defect, then let us tell them how to evade from doing wrong while being in the wrong system. I hope and pray that at least we have given the demarcation line in the choices made in the genders that we have since we were born and we were, and we were given a choice to live with. Again, let me emphasize that one. I hope and pray that at least we have given the demarcation line in the choices made in the genders that we have been born with and choose to live with. Above everything else, dear vlogmates, let the people call on their God. Let the Creator hear their hearts. It's not for us human to justify, decide, or proclaim the fate of others. Let the will of God be followed till eternity. God bless us all, dear vlogmates. This is Prose Gonzaga Jr. known to my students as Sir Noy, reminding us, let us not be judgmental. For we cannot help if we do so. If we want to help, let's talk to them and know their story. And that's the way the eagle hooked the prey. God bless everyone and have a great time.
And that's the way the eagle hooked the prey. I can soar.